Welcome, welcome rockers and music lovers. This episode, I'm gonna give you three real easy tips to get started on Open G blues playing. Uh, Robert Johnson did some songs in Open G, uh, Crossroads uh, being one of them. It's a great tuning to play solo in. So if you find yourself playing guitar alone a lot, this is going to be a great way to help you to get to improvising. And that's the fun thing about playing blues, is that the structure of the blues is so simple that you can just keep varying infinitely. In its simplicity, it has so much possibility. So. Let's get right into it. First tip, one, four, five. Learn the chords in open G. Your one chord would be whatever the open tuning is. In this case, it's G. If I was to capo up on different frets, that would change. But the relationship between the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord will always remain the same. So as soon as you get this under your fingers, the better off you're gonna be and the sooner you'll be improvising your own kind of blues. The fifth string is our is our tonic because open G is really it's an A chord shape that has been tuned down. So when it open when you play it open, G D G B D, and your tonic is on the fifth string. So this is the one chord. The four chord would be five frets up. One, two, three, four, five. So on the fifth fret. And that note right there is a C. So we have our C chord, or the four chord. Back to the G, the one chord. And then in the typical 12 bar blues fashion, it goes up to the five chord, and the five chord is on the seventh fret. D. So 1, 4, 5 in G is G, C, D. G, C, D. And it's that easy. If we were to capo, say on the second fret, then we would have an A chord because you're going from G to A on the second fret. We just count up five frets and we'll get our four chord here. And then we count up seven frets and we'll get our five chord. One chord, A. One, two, three, four. The four chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is where you can use the top string, the, the low E string, is on the five chord because the five is what's on the low E string, which is tuned down to D. So one. There we go. So let's get back to G. That's tip number one. Learn the chords. One chord is whatever open chord you have. Five frets up is the four chord. Seven frets up is the five chord. I know I'm, I'm showing you a lot of fives, but the words are what counts. <laughs> okay, another thing we can do, tip number two. Blues exploits the dominant seventh chord a lot. So it would really be nice if we can get a dominant seventh feel. Now what is a dominant seventh chord? A dominant seventh chord is any chord that's called something seven. So G seven, D seven, C seven. That's your dominant seven chord. And it sounds a little bit like this. So if you just bar, actually you can, you can do it just on the high E string on the third fret. Or you can bar the first two strings. And that gives it already a more bluesy feeling. It's the same thing here. 
That's that that that, that really really uh, archetypal blues riff. seventh chord it's three frets up and it can be just the last the the high E string or it could be the first two strings and then now you count up from this three frets and you'll have the same already getting bluesier bluesier by the minute third tip is get in with the turnaround. What is a turnaround? A turnaround is the period at the end of the sentence that is the 12 bar blues. So as we get through the blues from the one, the four, back to the one, to the four. There's all kinds of variations on that turnaround. Uh, this is the classic one. On the fourth string, third fret, and the third string open. So here's a little bonus tip I'd like to throw in for you. With the open G tuning, we have this nice octave happening right here between the fifth string and the third string. They're both G, one octave apart. And this kind of sounds a little bit like stride piano. You know, with the octaves in the bass, and then they start boom, 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 boom. figure going and this adding in we can add in the if we want or we can do or then bar the fourth chord do exactly the same figure now if we incorporate all of these elements together
And there you have it. That is three tips plus a bonus of playing some blues in open G, which is one of my favorite tunings. Playing blues is a little bit different than playing straight, where you're just playing more melodious sounding chords. The blues you have to get, you have to get that seventh in there, and you have to get um, some kind of flat thirds, flat sevens, and some boogie. Thank you so much, everybody. My name is Dwayne Dixon, AKA Double D. It is always a privilege and an honor to spend this time with you. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Hit me up in the comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see me do in the future. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. It'd be great for us if we could stay in touch. I have a lot of great things coming in the new year. I'm gonna be making some courses and uh, and and some a lot more in-depth video. Let me know what subject you would like us to cover in the future and I am going to play you out on a little bit of blues.